So welcome back guys and thanks for stopping by. Last week I created a video on point of interest mode on the DJI Go 4 app and it was specific to a discovery that I made with the help of another commenter from a previous video. But in that video I put together a 30 second b-roll segment where I did a kind of a showcase of what you could do with this new discovery in the POI feature. Anyway, a lot of you guys really liked that 30 second b-roll segment and you had questions about how I did the specific edit sequence of those events pieced together. So with that, let's jump right into Final Cut Pro and talk about speed ramping. Okay, so that's the B-roll clip. So let me zoom into my timeline here just on the clips that were associated with the B-roll. And I'm gonna do a Command R. What I did to start out is I put a, a marker kind of at every, every big beat moment on this, on this little clip that I'm trying to look at. So let me start here and just kind of follow along. You'll see the purple little marker Every time there's a you know hard a hard cut on the beat. Alright, so you get the idea. Not that hard. So you just listen to that one time through, hit the beats, make some marks, and so that's kind of where I like to do the transitions or a peak in the action with my video clips. Now, specific to the actual editing. So let me try this one. So this is from DJI 462. So I'm going to start right there. Go in. It spins around and comes out. And right about there. So this is about the clip that I had down below. I'm going to place that over so you can see how actually so you can see how long it actually was from the beginning from the beginning. So as you can see, this clip that I used for this segment underneath it originally was a minute and 18 seconds long. So you don't have to fly very fast around these points of interest while you're doing this. I took my time went nice and slow, a minute and 18 seconds. All right. I'm going to do the same thing here. So let's just start here. And I'm gonna do another shift B here. I'm gonna go all the way to the end and hit another shift B. And then I'm gonna try to bring this all the way in and just slide it in just like that, same as before. Now let me zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> Try to get that down to where so somewhere in that time frame. So again, this is how I started off and you basically have to play around with it. So let me mute this one down below and I'll play the top one. See, pretty cool, just like that. So that's how you do speed ramping. Now one other thing that I've done on, the, on these to make them more cinematic is to add a layer of motion blur. I'll go into my effects browser over on the side and look on the blur category, a minimal motion blur. I think I had one here in my text field from Ryan Nagel. So I think on this one I use a minimal motion blur. So let's just drag that. 
and put it right there. So that way it adds a little bit of a blur when it's spinning around. All right. So let's play this segment. But anyway, that is pretty much all there is. I, I kind of repeated this for each segment. You know, I go to the next one, it's normal. Next one here is, a, again, just a fast 2,000%. So I just sped that clip up 20 times instead of doing a speed ramp. You can see I put the motion blur on it there. So you kind of see when I when I scrub back and forth, see how there's, there's some blur there? And that's what it does. And so that kind of sells the, the spinning motion. So guys, that is all there is to speed ramping. Now, if you're new to Final Cut Pro and you'd like me to put together a short video on that, I can definitely do that and talk you and, and take you through the steps of how to get set up in Final Cut Pro, how to get everything set up so that you can edit your first video. I could definitely do that and just cover all the basics, cover where all the menus are, where all the um, where the effects are, the you know the color corrections and that kind of stuff, and show you all the tools, how you can cut clips into pieces and and do that kind of stuff. I can definitely do that. Let me know in the comments. Not sure if everybody's into that or not, but if you are, let me know and I will put that together. And Final Cut Pro is probably the simplest to learn. I've had it for about four or five years now and not going back. So it's it's great. There's And it's great because there's lots of information out there on YouTube. There's lots of plugins on YouTube. So if you see a technique that you like, you can just download a plugin and put that in your next video. So it's, it's, very, uh, it's very user friendly and it's easy to understand once you spend an hour or two getting to know the basics of it. After that, it's just, you know, the creativity is, is up to you. So, guys, let me know if you'd like me to put something like that together for a future video. Definitely would like that. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'd love to hear any feedback you have. If you do speed ramping in a different way, let me know. I'm always up for learning new techniques and uh, new tricks and tools of the trade. So. So guys, if you like these videos, hit the thumbs up button below, click subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.